Hey guys, Mwanda here. Uh, I have another thing of lye that I made Friday. So I figured I might as well get it used. Um, I'm gonna do just a simple uh, recipe here, I think. Get some Guess I should have measured the coconut oil that I'm putting in the microwave first. Let's see if I can get something here and get it in there. If I can just get it open. Hubby went and bought me some more coconut oil because I was out after yesterday. Boy, at least you know it's factory sealed, eh? Okay, let me get a bowl here. I love coconut oil in my soap. Gives it lots of bubbles. Figured I need to clean house. Figured I better get the soap made so it can cure while I am cleaning. Always good. I like the other coconut oil that he usually gives me because the mouth of the jar is wider, but it will do. I have used this Crisco one many, many times. And I was just thankful that he went and got it for me so I can make soap because I'm quite stressed today and um, soap kind of making soap is my de stressor. So, but yeah, my mother in law will be coming into town. Um, we have Austin's first oncology appointment um, on the 20th, so I think she's going to be able to be here for that, and um, pretty thankful that she can be here. My mom is um, on the other side of the U.S. She's in Oregon, I'm in Philly, and she's a little older, so I don't think that it's good for her to fly and that kind of stuff, but getting close. Takes almost almost the whole container um, for my soap recipe, but not quite. Probably could have got a better utensil, but it is what it is. Okay, we're getting close. Woot woot. A little cold here today, so it's not behaving as normal. Okay, I think if I plop that in there, we are good to go. Probably should put my gloves on beforehand so I didn't have oily hands from this, but whatever. I washed them, I just didn't put the gloves on. 
Okay, so they got the coconut oil. And I'm going to add some macadamia nut butter. I add it to all of my soaps. Let's put a couple of spoonfuls in there. And I'm going to try to get this to where it is just barely melted um, because my lye water is cold. And I probably should figure out what colors I'm going to do. So I'm going to pause for the cause, figure out the colors, uh, and I will be back. Okay, I am back. Just going to get some of the little clumps that are left mixed up. And while I was off camera, I did add in the sweet almond and the castor oil. Um, I had a little bit of time because I had to wait for some of this to get melted. I always want to make sure you pour it down the base of your stirring stick. Okay, let me get some water to put in here. And I'm going to be doing purple and white, and I am doing Pure Seduction as the fragrance. I did not add silk to this one. I didn't want to. Um, some of them I do, some of them I don't. Okay, let me put that in there. And then I'm just going to pour it equally into uh, the two containers. One has titanium dioxide in it, the other has the purple. A little more white, I think, than purple, but we shall see what I end up with. Looks like it's going to rice a little bit. That's okay. That's what a stir stick's made for. And of course, you always go from lightest to darkest. So I'm going to mix up this white first. out of the way and get that out of the way. Got my molds right here. go up high so it drops down in there. Whoop. I'm making a mess. Holy crap. 
Holy crikey. It's all right, it's just soap. And a little bit for this one here. That'll be my test bar. Uh, so, so far, I don't think it was rising. I think it was just uh, a little, I don't know what it was. But um, I did manage to uh, get it all in the pot, in the pans, minus a little bit. Sorry, I was looking for it. Get all that purple goodness in there. Smells good. It is the Pure Seduction dupe from Victoria's Secret. So um, if you like that scent, you will love this. Sorry about the bowl being in the way. I know you guys try to watch what I do, but um, there's a little bit left in here. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take my very expensive handy dandy swirling tool, which is <laughs> a skewer, um, and just kind of uh, zigzag a little bit, maybe twirl it, oh the twirling does good, yes, we're going to twirl it, and I'm twirling down about halfway through the soap, so um, it may make some interesting designs. Don't mind the dog, my husband just came in from the garage. I don't have any rhyme or reason to my swirling technique. I just do it until I think it looks kind of cool. And there we go. So I'll be back in 24 hours to cut. Okay, and I am back. It has been 24 hours. And now I'm going to unmold the double moon soap and hopefully it will not have a fail. That's what I'm hoping for. So it looks kind of cool, kind of murky, mysterious, whatever. Okay, and I'm just going to cut a little snib off of the end. And it's got two weird looking moons in it, but hey, it's all good. I'm just repurposing the soap anyway, so there is my two moon swirl. And this scent is really nice. It was a little strong last night, but it's kind of calmed down, so there's another one. I guess I should so show both sides of this since you get balls on both sides. That's one side, and there's the other. But yeah, I just had extra soap that didn't turn out. Shredded it down, wrapped it into balls. And uh, I'm now making some double moon soap with it. Got a little bit of soda ash on the top because I did not spray it down, but all you gotta do is when it dries, wet it down. You're good. Still really cool. And um, yeah, because of the, the balls of soap in it, I was actually able to make two of the bigger batches. Um, oh, and I got a single moon on the end. Um, of this size. And then I have a smaller one that I can do um, for the other one. I'm going to put you on pause because I need a sheet to put this on. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back with loaf two. I'm going to do the same thing. Just cut a little snib off. 
and put it to the side. I'll use those for samples. Oh, and you could see the mica around it a little bit better because um, I did roll the soap balls in purple mica. I don't know if you can tell by looking close up, but uh, it's looking pretty cool. Not quite what I envisioned, but it never is. Um, sometimes I surprise myself, and it's a lot better than what I thought. That really looks cool. It looks like Earth from outer space or something. But yeah, um, I would definitely make this again. Uh, I kind of made it by, you know, um, on purpose because of me messing up the other soap. But if you ever have a soap that you mess up or you got tidbits of soap that you want to use up, this would be the way to do it. Just make some soap balls, dampen them a little bit, roll them in some mica, and you are good to go. And a little snibby end <clears throat> for some samples. I'm just going to move these over. And then I got one more, but this one is a shorter one. So we shall see what ends up happening with this one. This mold is a little more difficult, I think, um, sometimes, but not today, evidently. Got some of the mica balls just showing through on that one, but it's all good. This one, I ended up layering some on the bottom, layering some on the top. I got, I got a mica ball sticking out. Yeah, I thought I was going to have enough for two more and didn't. So, I'll cut that off. And there's the mic ball in this one. And some of these just have one ball in them, and some have two. That one's got one and a half. <laughs> My son's coming in to check it out now. Yeah, it turned out pretty cool. That one's got three in it, and one on one side. I just kind of plopped them in this one, so. That's kind of cool. Turned out good. I'm happy. And like I said, once it fully cures, I can clean up the top so it's not so pastel looking. And, uh, you know, all of that. I almost want to call it asteroid soap. Uh, I think that would work. Looks kind of cool, cool, cool. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Should I text John to see what he has planned? If you want to, I'm recording, so if you want to text him and all that, that's fine. And the last one, I'm just going to snip the end off because it's kind of bent. And there's the end piece. That'll probably be Austin's piece. Because everybody knows in the test subject. Right? And there we go. So that is the two moon soap or asteroid soap, whichever I decide to call it. And uh, until next time, have a good day.